It is Tuesday, November 8th, 12.30 a.m. I'm going to read Liber Septum Regem Sanctorum, Ritual 28, The Ceremony of the Seven Holy Kings. Probationers who are idle or luxurious shall be given a task suitable to their natures. If they refuse the task from laziness or from a feeling that they have more important business, as their neophyte may judge, then may VVVVV 8.3 himself inform them with much deference that they are now fitted for admission to the mystery of the seven holy kings. The temple is arranged as shown in the attached illustration, missing in this copy. The god of the first throne hath robes of deep blue, second, violet, third, scarlet, fourth, orange, fifth, green, sixth, pale yellow, seventh, bright blue. The other officers are the hegemon, clad in white and massed in white, and in his hand is the phoenix wand of the planets, and the areas, masked in black and robed in black, in his hands are the scourge and crook. The candidate, well fed and joyful, clad in the robe of a probationer, and crowned with laurel, is led by the hegemon, his neophyte, into the hall. Taken to the altar on which burns a small fire of odorous wood, cedar or sandal or lidry aloes, he is made to kneel thereat, and the black officer comes forward threatening him with his scourge, and saith, Who art thou? I am the aspirant to the sacred and sublime order of AA, and I seek the aid of Osiris. Note, this ceremony can be adapted for working by two officers, the hegemon assuming each time a different colored cloak, in the appropriate god form. But it is most desirable that the full complement of nine should assist. Hail unto thee, Osiris triumphant! Lord of Amenta, Lord of Enanet, hail unto thee, all-glorious Son of mercy and justice, upon whose head is the golden crown of light that is invisible to men. Hail unto thee, hail unto thee, soul light in our darkness. Hail unto thee, through whom alone may attain unto the brotherhood immortal. Deign to guide this aspirant in the straight path, and let him not fall into the way of those who err. There is no answer. Let us arise and seek Osiris. They come to the first throne. Saturn. Welcome, 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 for thou art chosen. O thou that hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal, aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty, peace and plenty and contentment and good health and length of days. All these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side, for he shall put ice against thy heart. He shall constrict thy whole being, he shall bring thee to sorrow and poverty and premature old age, if thou so much as lift thine eyes unto his face. Place therefore thine head upon my knees, that I may put mine hands upon thine head, and bless thee with my blessings. He does so. Welcome wast thou, and thou shalt be welcome to my brethren. Pass thou on. They reach the second throne. Jupiter. Welcome, 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 for thou art chosen. O thou that hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal. Aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty, authority in the respect of men, in distinction and praise and veneration. All these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side, for he shall cast thee down, and thou shalt be despised of all men, and thy power shall be broken if thou so much as lift thine eyes unto his face. Place therefore thine head upon my knees, that I may put mine hands upon thine head and bless thee with my blessings. He does so. Welcome wast thou, and thou shalt be welcome to my brethren. Pass thou on. They reach the third throne. Mars. Welcome, 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 for thou art chosen. O thou that hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal. Aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty. Courage and energy and force, conquest and dominion. All these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side, for he shall burn thee as with fire, and all that thou hast shalt thou lose. And in thy battles shalt thou be overcome, and thou shalt be broken and ground into dust if thou so much as lift thine eyes unto his face. Place therefore thine head upon my knees, that I may put mine hands upon thine head, and bless thee with my blessings. He does so. Welcome wast thou, and thou shalt be welcome to my brethren. Pass thou on. They reach the fourth throne. Son, welcome, 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 for thou art chosen, O thou that hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal. 
Aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty. Fame and jollity, and a life fair and open, glory and harmony shall be thy servants, and victory shall wait upon thee as an handmaid. All these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side, for he shall drive thee from the life of men, so that thou hidest in dens and caverns from the light, and thy name shall be lost, and thou shalt suddenly be slain if thou so much as lift thine eyes unto his face. Place therefore thine head upon my knees, that I may put mine hands upon thine head, and bless thee with my blessings. He does so. Welcome wast thou, and thou shalt be welcome to my brethren. Pass thou on. They reach the fifth throne. Venus. Welcome, 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 for thou art chosen. O thou that hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal. Aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty. Love and beauty and true happiness, ease and abundance. All these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side, for he shall destroy love in thee, and all thy beauty shall be blasted, and no word of kindness shalt thou ever hear again, if thou so much as lift thine eyes unto his face. Place therefore thine head upon my knees, that I may put mine hands upon thine head, and bless thee with my blessings. He does so. Welcome wast thou, and thou shalt be welcome to my brethren. Pass thou on. They reach the sixth throne. Mercury. Welcome, 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 for thou art chosen, O thou that hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal. Aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty, learning and eloquence and the power to heal the ills of men. All these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration, but beware of the black shadow at my side, for a thief shall come upon thee and despoil thee, and thou shalt have no more knowledge, and with disease thy body shall dissolve away if thou so much as lift thine eyes unto his face. Place therefore thine head upon my knees, that I may put mine hands upon thine head, and bless thee with my blessings. He does so. Welcome wast thou, and thou shalt be welcome to my brethren. Pass thou on. They reach the seventh throne. Moon. Welcome, 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 for thou art chosen. O thou that hast aspired to the brotherhood immortal. Aspiration is strength, and I give thee of my bounty. Purity and clearness of vision, and all the harvest of delight, all these hast thou won by virtue of that single aspiration. But beware of the black shadow at my side, for he shall darken thine eyes, and thou shalt waste away, and thou shalt go a cold, and thou shalt suddenly be slain, if thou so much as lift thine eyes unto his face. Place therefore thine head upon my knees, that I may put mine hands upon thine head, and bless thee with my blessings. He does so. Welcome wast thou to me, as thou wast welcome to my brethren. Thou didst but lift up thine hand in aspiration to the brotherhood immortal, and thou hast swept the seven cords of the celestial harp. Pass thou on. They go back not to the altar, but to the little door of the temple, within which is a dark dungeon. The hegemon thrusts him furious into this with hand and foot, all crying aloud, Osiris is a black god. There he must remain for seven hours, if at any point previous in the ritual he should say, I ask not these blessings, I seek Osiris. What saith yon silent dark one, or words of similar purport? The hegemon answers, removing the hoodwink once and for all, Verily thou sayest well, know that Osiris is a black god, and the straight way unto the sacred and sublime order lieth not through the green pastures and beside still waters. But in the valley of the shadow of death, his crook and scourge shall avail thee. Take them therefore, and fold thine arms upon thy breast. Ascend with me the seven steps of the throne. The aspirant then does so, standing between the officers. The fourth throne is removed to leave a passage. The seven kings rush upon him and belabor him with their weapons. But he makes his way, and they fall one by one. The seventh upon the second step, the sixth upon the third, the fifth upon the fourth, the fourth upon the fifth, the third upon the sixth, the second upon the seventh, and the first at the foot of the throne. The aspirant passes over their bodies and takes his seat. They then, each from his place, adore him while the two officers support him on either side, and the hierophant addresses him, Freighter, this day have I symbolically placed thee in the seat of the brother of the AA. See to it that thy life truly reflects this gradual conquest of the powers of the seven 
and never forget that thy path is the path of Osiris, and that Osiris is a black god. They then conduct him from the temple. After the seven hours are passed, the aspirant is rescued by Osiris, the black officer, in the words already given, omitting, verily thou sayest well, and using a sterner tone for the beginning of the speech. The ceremony then proceeds as before.